Hello y'all on YouTube, this is Rob with Rob's Dirty Knives. Today we have a very special unboxing. This is part of a box that I ordered from White Mountain Knives. And if you're not familiar with White Mountain Knives, go check them out. You'll see a link down below. And also if you do, go there, use my code RNK10. You get 10% off your purchase on most things. Um, really cool little discount. I, doesn't really benefit the channel, but it benefits you guys, and I want you guys to get something out of that. And I think it'd be really cool and support them. Because sometimes, you know, once in a while they throw a little, you know, bone my way, and I'm appreciative of that. And I'm appreciative of the savings that they can offer you guys. I think that's super cool. All right, um, this is a knife by CJRB. It was part of five knives I bought for, like, giveaways coming up. This particular one is the J1934. <clears throat> now, we've seen this before, but I've never reviewed this variant. So this is kind of exciting. I'm really looking forward to taking a look at this one. This is something that we have definitely heard of before. It's just a little different. All right, so we got a nice cleaning cloth, nice little silicate packet, and lo and behold, it looks similar, but ooh, this one's really small. This reminds me maybe of the little um, mini uh, um, penguin, right? But it's not a penguin. This is, come on now, there we go. Um, this is the pyrite, the button lock. <clears throat> and this is a White Mountain Knives exclusive. This is, is this aluminum? Hold on. No, it's steel. Steel polished, frag pattern, which is nice, got just enough texture. Little itty bitty baby clip, look at that, that's so cute <laughs> compared to the other one. Uh, all right, so it's not a captive pivot, right? It's got the thumb studs, little ones. Looks pretty dead center for a blade. It's got two standoffs in the back with a big lanyard loop. Interesting, kind of reminds me of Spyderco there with that lanyard loop there. All right, nice little clip. Uh, it's. Yeah, it's a, little, it's a little tight. I'm sure it goes in and out of the pocket well. Very smooth, which is cool. Everything's nice and rounded. Nice big thumb studs, easy access there. It is a button lock, so that's cool. Um, that means it's a plunge lock in there. Works really well. <clears throat> I do like the steel pattern on here. I do like the, the clip. It is reversible, noticed. <clears throat> it is not recessed into the scale. It has uh, two screw holes, and so you can, you can reverse it. And so that's really nice. So it can be right hand tip up, left hand tip up, which is pretty cool. It is pretty small. I have pretty large hands, um, large hands with pretty meaty fingers. So it definitely covers up. I think it's going to be a three finger kind of grip. So let's go ahead and give it a little pop here with the thumb set and see how it goes. Not bad. It pops up pretty nicely. It's a nice little polished sand, um, I guess, satin finish, sort of a, a full flat grind. Look at that itty bitty little blade. We're looking at a blade that's just at two inches, probably a hair over. Uh, super, super small. It does have a little finger choil, so I could choke up a little bit. Definitely can pinch grip. Uh, for me, this is definitely a three finger knife right here. It's got some jimping. That's really cool. It is beautifully rounded all the way around, so no sh no uh, sharp points, hot spots. That's really cool. I grip in, even that clip is not digging in anywhere. And I can choke up on this thing. So it's like, you know, I can choke up for a nice little kind of precision cut if I wanted to. Um, a smaller clip cut, I can choke up just like I do on my regular. Uh, pyrite. So I have my pyrite over here that I've had one of the very first pyrites. It was one of the exclusive with the first run. This is the S35 blade steel. I don't think I've seen the S35 blade steel since then. And this is the black coated with the black micarta. And you'll notice uh, similar thumb studs. Are they almost the same size? Yeah, they are the same size. But you can see the, the difference in the size of the blade. Now they make a large pyrite and that's huge. I've, I've had a few of these on the channel. I've given those away. This one I can choke up as well on, but again, it's I do the trigger grip to be safe on that one. Plenty more room on this one compared to the mini, but this is great if you wanted like a little fifth pocket knife, it definitely would work that way. And you gotta make sure you get your finger out of the way. So be clear, there you go. All right, so let's, let's see how that little button works. It's a little tight at first, let's see if it breaks in. I'm making sure it's, so the blade itself doesn't have a whole lot of weight, so you got to give it a little flick to get it down there. It might be just because it's breaking in right now. I know these are encased ceramic bearings. I put actually skiffs in this one, which makes it really sweet, really comfortable. Any grittiness I had in there completely went away. Beautiful action on this now. I'm pretty sure you can do that with the mini because it's. I think it takes the same. Uh, let's look at the inside here. We do have... All right, so there's steel inserts. And... Oh, wait a second. Maybe this is aluminum. Yeah, it is aluminum. It felt really light. It's got to be aluminum. Is it aluminum? Here, let me let me look at the thing. Yeah, it's aluminum. Aluminum, aluminum handles. All right, and but steel bar in uh, steel inserts. You can see that in there. Uh, they're cut out for weight relief. I don't know if you can see that. Let me see if we can zoom in a little bit. Can you see that? There's a little weight relief on both sides there. 
So that's pretty nice. All right, since I'm zoomed in, let's go ahead and take a look at that blade. Nice little two inch blade, make it very legal in a lot of places to have a small knife like that. A little milling pattern on that. The frag is really nice, I think. Now these are T6s, of course, a T8 right there. It looks like it, a T8 there. So you might need two screws with not being capped to pivot. T6s over there, right? And let's look at it from the top. There's a big priority for lanyard loop. And sometimes smaller knives, it makes sense to have a lanyard loop so you don't lose them. Easier to access, so you know, there you go. That, that, that's kind of cool. It's got two standoffs, as you can see, right? Uh, nice little access there. It is breaking in a little bit better. It's Now, smaller knives sometimes can be difficult, especially to reverse flick. You kind of have to use a little flick with it because they're, they're hard to, to hold and flick and not, you know, not get yourself. So it is starting to be a little better, for me at least. That is kind of cool. Yeah, I like the roundedness. I like all of that. That's nice shape, nice, beautiful aluminum. I like the the deep pocket carry clip. You can definitely hide that little puppy in there. And like I said, it's pretty dead center. And if I look at that plunge lock, it's pretty engaged in there. No play. No pivot play. And let's see how the plunge lock engages the blade. Nice and tight. It doesn't wobble in and out. Let's do it again. Ready? Yeah, that clicks in pretty nicely. And of course, I didn't zoom out. So I don't know how much of that I messed up. Gosh, I've been doing that lately. I'm a little tired. I'm working like crazy. So I apologize for that. I have been so busy at work. It's been insane. Yeah. But I still want to get the content out. I still got knives to look at. And I still want to share all this good stuff with you guys. Uh, if it makes sense, I'll edit it and we'll start over. But if not, we may leave it in there because what I was talking about all, all pertains, right? It's all important. So just because I forgot and I'm an idiot... <laughs> doesn't mean the information is not good so forgive me for that guys all right so nice little knife i mean definitely you can compare the size to a regular pyrite you can see it's definitely smaller but pretty cool i think i mean i think it's definitely kind of nice this is definitely something if you want to keep a small carry knife like let's say you have a friend who likes the pyrite but they want a small knife in their pocket this would definitely be that uh very nice and light definitely would do everything they could Want it to do a great little pocket knife for the car, maybe for your backpack, lady for the purse, you know, maybe in your office with a nice thin flat grind. It's a very thin blade. This might be at 0.1 inches, maybe even less, but that full flat grind is going to be nice and sharp, definitely sharp. Uh, is there enough exposed where I can do middle finger flick? Let's see. Can I do it? I can. I get a little bonus flick. That's what I always liked about my pie right. Let me see if I can get it on the left hand. That trick in the left hand is make sure I'm not touching anything. Yeah, I can do it left-handed. So my pirate over here, I can do middle finger rever reverse flick. I'll put middle finger on here, easily pop that, and I can do it left-handed as well. So I just got to make sure I'm out of the way. So that's nice. I call that my bonus flick. So I've got the thumb studs, both left and right, both front and reverse flick. I've got the, thumb st uh, the button lock I can open up with like this, right? So that's kind of another opening. And then I've got the middle finger reverse flick. I can do that on here. It's a little tight, but you can get in there, especially if you got, you know, you meet of your finger in there, and once it breaks in a little bit better, <laughs> the trick is getting it. Come on now. Oh, what is my hand on here? Hmm. Well, I was doing it before. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe it's because I don't have enough grip. Let's see if I can do that. There we go. Okay, so my fingers are, it's dry. It's cold and it's dry. And so my fingers don't have enough traction on there. Well, you saw me do it earlier. I'm not, I'm, it's tired. I'm late and I, I want to just share this with you guys. Well, it did work and I'm sure it'll work even better as I, you know, carry this knife a little bit more and get an experience for it before we do the giveaway. Now, this, this high polished finish is definitely going to be a little slippery. It's great for cutting. It'll cut through just about anything really, really well, which is nice. And let's see here. Is it starting to close by itself? Yeah, there we go. All right. So it was a little tight at first. Now it's starting to break in a little bit. You know, put a little oil maybe in there and see if that helps it out and get that going. But that plunge lock works pretty well. So, yeah, it's just, you know, smaller locks, you got to just really make sure you clear things. You don't want to catch yourself. And it works really well, three fingers, and then you can choke up like that. That's cool. Very, very cool. All right, so let's take a look at that edge. Uh, that front looks like it might have gotten a little messed up. Doesn't look quite even. Do you see that? Hmm. All right, that's pretty even on that side. Pretty even over here. It's a little longer here and a little here. It almost looked like it... Almost looked like 
it turned on him. Because you can almost see that little spot right there. You know, that's something you might want to reprofile at some point. It is ARRP. So the a ARRP M9 blade steel is it's CJRP, uh, CJR, CJR, um, CJRB, excuse me, boy, I'm ARRP M9 and CJRB. See, they're both under the Artisan Cutlery. They're part of Artisan Cutlery, right? And Artisan Cutlery made a proprietary powdered steel and has a budget steel. It's called ARRP M9, which is what this steel is right there. And you can see that, right? Uh, let's see, can we zoom in? Maybe I need to zoom in. So that's the ARP M9, right? And so that is a great powder steel. It's a really great budget powder steel. Some fantastic steel for the price, right? And that usually allows them to really compete well in this price range. Uh, it has some better properties than D2 and other things like that. So definitely a step up as far as that. Is it as good as 14C28? Not quite. Uh, 14C28 is much better, but it's also one of the best budget steels out there. But it will cost you more, significantly more relative to budget seals. Um, but this is a great steel, absolutely fantastic steel. It's got some great qualities and properties in it that's way better than like 1440 or 1080, or whatever, any of those things, right? So that's really, really cool. Um, but it is part of Artisan Cutlers, their proprietary steel. So right now it's still their exclusive steel, which is cool. Um, yeah, um, nice little knife for everything that you get. The button lock's starting to break in really nicely which is always important, I think. Um, I do like the handles. The loom handles are pretty stinking cool. I would maybe consider this in the larger knife as well. But I did want to try out the mini. I hadn't tried. I've seen the, the large pyrite. I've seen the regular pyrite. Obviously, we've given several of those away on the channel, including the Warncliffe version. And now I got to see the mini pyrite. This is a cool little baby pyrite, a little mini pyrite. Definitely a cool little fifth pocket knife, small knife, you know, backpack knife, whatever. Definitely cool. And... Uh, something definitely worth uh, taking a look at. So I try to get some of these knives that I haven't tried before for the giveaways. And I think this is something I would love to win. I like this knife. So I, I try to get things that, you know, are pretty cool, you know, when I do these giveaways. So I just want you to know that. And this is definitely one of those. So there you go. Um, if you guys think it's interesting, um, have any questions about it, maybe when I do the review, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions for the channel, let me know as well. I would love to hear from you. But, uh, you know, um, cool first experience. Everything that I can talk about this knife is pretty nice. Pretty nice. This is not a review. This is just an unboxing. First impressions. We'll do a full review at some point. Um, definitely before I use it as a giveaway. But uh, very cool little knife. I like it. Definitely has some nice properties to it. Uh, like I said, if you have any questions, let me know. And also, you know, hey, if you found this content fun, interesting, worthwhile, or informative, would you please consider hitting the like button? If you've already hit that like button, would you please consider hitting the subscribe button? Subscribing and liking the channel really helps out. Helps the channel grow, produce more content, become bigger, and ultimately do more things for you guys. So thank you. Thank you. Every bit of money that I make has gone toward these giveaways. I just want you to know that. It's my way to say thank you. And that includes money from you guys watching the videos, which I appreciate when you watch those little ads. It helps the channel. And to you channel members, a big, big shout out to you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate you guys supporting the channel. I know many of you became channel members since the very beginning, and I'm humbled and honored by it. So it's my way to say thank you to everybody who watches, who subscribes, who likes the videos, and all the channel members who support the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you to every one of you guys. And for anybody, if you haven't already, maybe hit that notification button so you can be notified of future content like this as well. I would appreciate that. And for you guys who are saying, hey, I might want to become a channel member, check out the description down below. I have three different tiers of channel membership. You can choose which one is maybe right for you if you're interested. Please don't ever feel like you have to be, but I would be honored to have you as a channel member to join this crazy channel as we get nerdy with knives. I super awesome to have that. So I do welcome you. Hey, if you haven't already, maybe also check me out. Oops, I just missed it. Check me out on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Again, that's on Instagram at robs underscore nerdy underscore knives. Hey, thanks so much for watching today. Have a great day and a great week.